And welcome everybody here in Twitch chat and also on YouTube if you're watching this in the future for our next deck, which this one looks to be kind of a crazy one. We have a donation deck here to play Reanimator in best of one. So uh, yeah, so our goal is to self-mill um, ourselves with the help of Discovery and Chart of Course. Um, and Thought Erasure, I guess, can, can mill as well and get one of these big things into the graveyard and then bring it back and we get to bring it back with um, either the third chapter of eldest reborn or with concoct which also can surveil something in but that's that's our big thing here so concoct five mana sorcery surveil three and then return a creature card from your graveyard to the battlefield so we can put these things in the battlefield especially like um andre's forerunners can end the game pretty quickly we're putting this thing back into play if we just have anything else uh, also. And we have quasi-duplicate if we want to, to copy these also, these big things when they're in play. So, yeah, we'll, we'll uh, kind of see how this goes. Let's, uh... This is going to be... <laughs> this is going to be something else. All right, so let's go to regular constructed event. And reanimator. Yeah, no, no counter magic here in the deck. Uh, we just have removal, and um, just using removal and trying to get some some big creatures onto the battlefield. Yeah, feast or famine in best of one for sure. All right, good opening hand. Yeah, I don't. I don't think we're beating red deck wins in best of one. No, I don't think we're beating the red decks. So we're we're just gonna try to dodge them. We're not gonna beat them. Yeah, I guess Palaka Worm. Palaka Worm certainly a card that that could help out. That's a good point. Palaka Worm could help out. Uh, Deep Root Elite, Jade Bear, couple Jade Light Range Rangers, and a Branch Walker. I'm gonna take the the Elite, um, and I certainly want to keep that Ritual set. Thank you. I haven't noticed, myself, I haven't noticed really any difference. Um, in the event or in uh, ranked play for more red deck wins. I guess if we do normal play, like not unranked normal play, there's probably less red deck wins there. I mean, I'm going to need the fifth land also. I'm going to need both of these, but we need to find... I'll find more lands. I'm just going to ditch that. So we'll start Charter Course in here in a little bit. No lands. So should I sit now or wait? I think I'm gonna just double chart a course. You know, hopefully we find a some big creature. Uh I didn't find the big creature. All right, we're looking pretty good here, um, as long as the opponent doesn't have like a spell pierce. Spell pierce would uh, kind of wreck us. If their last card is spell pierce, that would wreck us. Oh yeah, search for Kanta seems like, yeah, that seems like a card we should be playing, right? Like where we can put stuff in the graveyard. Yeah, search for Kanta certainly seems like a good card. 
No spell pierce? All right. I can gain control of that thing. Uh, looks like they have a trickster. And I am taking that trickster. Because that's going to deal more damage to me. Because I'm just going to ritual sit away these two things anyway. Quasi Duplicate's a pretty risky card, though, also, um, because if your opponent's playing instant speed removal and you target your creature, you just gain, you get nothing if they kill your creature in response. So it's kind of, it's pretty risky. So you have to have, like, creatures on the battlefield, um, and then your, and your opponent, like, not killing them, and all that kind of stuff. Looks like we're just not even gonna, not even gonna need to reanimate anything this, this game. Perry denied with the Twitch, with a tier one sub. Thank you so much, Perry. I really do appreciate that support. Uh, glad you're enjoying the stream. Oh whoa! Looks like the sub number went down quite a bit. All right, let's get rid of this. Let's get rid of this. Get rid of this. Keep the land. We're actually now... Must have had uh, 100 subs away now. Oh, I thought I was doing that at end step. I guess I was doing that of going into combat. My bad. We can just do this the, the old fashioned way. Casting our stuff. Casting things the old fashioned way. All right, good job, Ritual of Sit. Way to be awesome. I could certainly see playing uh, Search Rose Cantas, though, instead of the Quasi-Duplicates. Um, you know, we've only played one game so far, uh, but I'm not sold on the Quasi-Duplicate being necessary. But it may be to um, copy, like, some End Race, End Race Forerunners or something. I'm not, you know, we've only played one game so far. Yeah, let's, let's queue against that six more times. And also our, us have like that hand of like, you know, discard into Ritual of Sit. That was a very good hand. Yeah, we could have played Palaka for five mana. Absolutely. Just didn't really need to yet. I liked just casting the Palaka for seven because then the next turn for we could have maybe gone like five mana, Palaka plus three mana quasi duplicate. Could maybe had both of those. Mono Blue is going to be a lot tougher for us to beat. Endray's Forerunners will end the game a lot quicker than a Muldratha, so let's get that one. Thanks, Eliminator. Yeah, glad you're enjoying the, the new thumbnails. 
Ah, uh, Paris has been lurking since December when I started playing Arena. I was really concerned when you weren't streaming last night when I got off work because usually I can catch you the last couple hours of your stream. Glad you're back on today. Thanks. Yeah, yesterday, um, you know, first, you know, thanks for the, the kind words and stuff, but yesterday uh, we, we were streaming, but then the internet went out, um, and it was really disappointing. Like, my upload speed just tanked for some reason, and I was really frustrated. Um, and that started to happen earlier today as well. Yeah, our opponent probably has just counter magic. Yeah, counter magic dive down. Yep. Yeah, earlier today it was it was uh, um, acting up, and uh, but the last like probably about two three hours it's been good. So um, either one, Mookie Bear, or you can also just send me a private message on there. That's also easy. You can just send me a private message. So I want to save Ritual of Soot. Um, I want to make sure, like, I don't want Ritual of Soot to get spell pierced, basically. I think that's. I think this is our most important spell. So I'm gonna, I'm gonna throw in like these other spells that will um, get countered first, and hopefully our opponent runs out of counter spells. That is really good news. Love that play. So even if our opponent has spell pierce, we can, you know, spell pierce isn't gonna counter a Ritual of Soot. Love it. And there we go. Now we get to sit back again. Oh, okay. Ice up, son. You're going to be passing by. The question is if, is if I shock to to play around spell pierce or not. I think yeah, yeah, the answer is just yes. We'll just make sure we'll just have spell pierce not do anything cuz they could certainly have it with how they left the one mana open there. Okay, I don't really need another one of these or one of those or really one of those. I don't really need any of those. Four runners. No, Bounty Agent's not a... No, I wouldn't recommend playing Bounty Agent. Um, well, let's try again. Yep, this is a reanimator. Oh, I, I wrote Grixis Discard 1 out. Sorry. I forgot that was still there. Played around Spell Pierce perfectly last few turns. And so did the pigs. The rare card you get for Singleton is Galta. And I can show you that right now. Wait, collection. You get this Galta. This really cool Galta. So that's your rare. For the singleton, uh, your common one is this duress here. All right, pig reanimator doing its thing, two and zero. Oh. Yeah, Saren, I, I probably yeah, I should I could have. Uh, done the concoct first in case one of the top three cards is the four runners and then I would have been able to get it back and had lethal 
Yeah, so I should've just done that. I need to get used to being able to, uh, you know, mill over the cards with Concoct and have it there. Oh no, we figured we're playing against red. No. No. Shock field pyromancer risk factor. I'm gonna take the pyromancer. That deals two immediately. And then um, you know, starts attacking for two. Steam can. So now, field isn't going to do a whole lot of damage, especially if I take a spell. Field won't do a whole lot of damage. I think I may just take a risk factor. Yeah. All right, we'll get rid of that. Yeah, we need to get some worms. Yep. Some palaka worms. How can you tell whether a new deck you're trying is good or bad and you're not getting lucky or unlucky draws? Um, it's kind of a feel thing, I suppose, or just, you know, playing or playing more games. Uh, it, it is kind of hard to tell the first few games for sure. Well, there's Palaka Worm, so we can send it over there and hope we draw a Concoct. Is that good? Is that good? Who knows? We'll see. It may not be good enough. So if our opponent casts Shock here, they get to do four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. So they have nine right now. The good thing about that is that that did re re reduce. Uh, Viashino. That kills us. So it did reduce Lava Runner's power, but. That, that Steam can draw real good. Slezia Singleton was really good, honestly, and, and a lot of people have been here, been in here in chat saying that. Um, that they've been doing really well. Like some one person was nine and nine and one with the deck. Another person said they were they went twenty and two with it. Um, so yeah, it seems like it's a pretty good singleton deck. Oh yeah, for the playlist. Sorry, I, I missed your comment there. Yeah, for the playlist um, on Spotify! Exclamation point playlist. You can see that right there. We've had turn two thought erasure every game. That's a good sign. Ah, you're 11 and one now with the top deck king. Nice. Even better. No, not another red deck. We were even gonna have, last, last game we were gonna have turn five gain seven life and we died before turn five. Gross. And that's even after we had Thought Erasure on turn two, Thought Erasure on turn three, and we died before turn five. Um, they're just goblins. Why am I keeping this land? I forgot about the Overgrown Tomb in my hand. I thought I only had one other land for some reason. Definitely don't need to keep that land. Ritual of Soot, where are you at? I 
playing Ethereal Absolution when you're playing Selesnya Tokens. Gross. Yeah, that's tough. Trash Master? That's your draw? Trash Master? Oh, another person went 425151 with this Lesnia deck so far. Awesome. All right, two and two. Let's not play against red, please. Two -oh against non-red and O2 -oh against red. Yeah, it's the second turn four kill. Yeah, red decks are, are scary. All right, we have turn two Thought Erasure again. No. Stop. Opponents, just stop. At least that they don't have a one drop. That's like the first. Yeah, we've always, yeah, we've been on the draw all three times against red. That's not good. I mean, we're already really bad against red, but just being on the draw. We need to find Ritual of Set. Certainly can't beat these cards. So we need a land and Ritual of Set. I'm going to just ditch this land. Ritual of Soot. Come on. Gotta kill these Steamkins. It's probably just too late anyway. Can't take 7 damage here. Expect to survive. Let's try this again. So just try not to get paired against Mono Red. But yeah, being on the draw against Mono Red, I, I don't think we have a chance. But that's what that's what we went into this, you know, thinking anyway. You know, I don't I just don't think we're gonna beat Mono Red. We just hope hope we don't get paired against it three out of five times. Alright, Tranquil Expanse. That's good news. Song of Fraley's Teshar Hazda Marshall. I'm not really scared of any of these, but I guess I gotta take one. I guess the Hazda Marshall. This Teshar is not getting played for a long time. And I can connive and take the Teshar. Anyway. Give me that. Thank you. I 
And I'm just going to be working up the chain here and just, um, you know, we just need to draw one more land before we can Dream Meter. And Dream Meter, with the surveilling it does, can certainly get us another land for Palaka Worm. Give me that. Thank you. Not that I know of, Saren. I, d I don't know how to make the second, like how you could make, like concoct uh, the art on a, the deck box. I don't know. You're gonna seal away one of these? Cool. Just don't seal away my other things. Whoa. Let's bounce that. Um, these are all kind of good. I don't really need the Thought Erasure. My plan next turn is to like Dispersal. Yeah, I just don't really need the Thought Erasure. But I basically have like the Dispersal Thought Erasure combo for the next turn. We don't really need it though. All right, three and three. Three O against non mono red. O three against mono red. Um. I don't think Nexus was banned for being a meta warping card. I wouldn't say I don't think that was like the definite the reason why, but you know they wrote a I'm sure they wrote a big thing about it, but I I wouldn't expect that to be the reason why. I yeah I don't that's not I don't think that would be the reason that that Nexus was banned a meta warping card. Yeah, cross his fingers for not mono red. Come on, not mono red. No. Uh, mono red. Well, the good, good-ish news is that our opponent did mulligan to six, but we're on the draw again. So all four times we've played mono red, we've been on the draw. That's certainly not helping. Where are you at, Ritual of Set? I guess this technically sees three cards. All right, there's Ritual. So, I mean, we can maybe win this, depending on what our opponent has. That was not a good start. They have to have a burn spell, though. If they... If they can't kill us this next turn, next you know, we get to gain we get to gain seven life our next turn. Please just have like two three mana things in your hand. Just have like a risk factor and a goblin chain whirler. Alright, they didn't kill us. That's good news. Not dead yet. Do I want this? Do I actually want the Thought Erasure? Yeah, actually, I'll take the Thought Erasure. Woo, we got there. Of course, Carlos. Got 
up there. They did have the Chain Whirler. They did, the two, three mana cards. Just like I wanted them to have. Hmm. What are your thoughts on Ryan over Turf's Phoenix deck? Um, I guess I don't have a good answer to that question. I don't, I don't really know what Ryan over Turf's Phoenix deck is like, honestly. Um, yeah, I honestly don't have a, a, any. I don't have any opinions on the deck. So close, opponent. So close. Yeah, I can't decide what like what color to splash. I haven't played much modern, or basically any modern since like the Phoenix decks have become really popular, and so I, I don't have a good answer for you of like what colors to splash. Honestly, we beat the red deck. It certainly helped that our opponent was playing direct current. That certainly helped. And our opponent mulligan to six. That also helped. But we actually beat red. It can be done. We also had a perfect hand of Ritual of Sid on turn four and gain seven life on turn five. So, so all of that happened and we had a perfect hand and we won. Why am I keeping this? This hand's not even any good. Sorry, I was talking about that. But And then we also ended up at one life. I saw like the ritual sets and I was happy, but Simic Gilgate. All right, lands. We need to draw a land, a discovery, a thought erasure, a chart of course. We're just discarding the hard way. We're going to discard the hard way. I need a mulligan this hand. The opponent has turn three. They got guilt summit. All right, discovery's good. Where are you at, lands? Land. Yeah, opponent could have drawn another card if they would have tapped a little better, but not too big a deal. Their hand's really good. Need to get rid of this guild summit. If wasn't for this guild summit, we'd be doing just fine. Yeah, best of three. I don't. Yeah, I don't know exactly what we'd do with the deck in best of three. These kind of decks, where, like when your opponent gets the sideboard against you, um, it makes it a whole lot harder when they get to tune their deck uh, to have a lot more disruption, a lot more like duresses and negates and things like that.
Do you win versus any kind of control like Esper? I don't know. We haven't played against any kind of control. I don't know. Um, I would be... That's, that's like what the sideboard would have to... Like, that's what your own sideboard had to do is... You'd have to have, like... I mean, I think you'd maybe just go with the generic... Bunch of Thief of Sanities and Duresses and Negates. Um, sideboard plan. Cool, you went 5-1 with Selesnya Singleton. And beat up on three rat decks. Good job. Hey, what's up, j -Jack? All right, rematch. Uh, this. It's going okay. Um, had a tougher day today earlier with, like, internet worries, but um, it's been going better. And everything. Speaking of that, let me finish finish typing the stuff for this upload. Speaking of that. I'm just gonna get the Eldritch Reborn going here. Even though I know we could go get the uh, Endrace Forerunners right now, but I think that um, getting the, the chapters going on the Eldritch Reborn as early as possible is what we want to do. There is an Ixalan's Binding in the Singleton deck. Yeah, Ixalan's Binding is in the deck. Hmm, should I Thought Erasure? I guess this Thought Erasure, like they have two cards in hand. This Thought Erasure is just not going to do anything later. Double Electro Dominance. I was, so I was worried about. I was worried about our opponent having like uh, um, big card draw effects. Um. And the opponent cannot kill this with Electro Dominance yet. Not yet. Cards are kind of good. All right, so they were waiting towards combat, so we can't just concoct it into play immediately. If they would have just killed this, they would have killed it pre-combat. You know, like we would have been able to concoct it. I was kind of hoping they would do it when I tapped out for the Dream Eater uh, with me tapping out. I was hoping that they would um, do it then. Yeah, we'll still have the concoct for the Forerunners, but that's too good. All right.
five and four. So better hand that time. Didn't keep a just an awful hand like the the previous game. And we're five and four with Reanimator here in best of one. Right, thanks, Doctor. Let's see. Let's see what we've got here. Uh, another gate deck. Is this gate deck really, really popular or something? Like I, I guess so. Sure, sure is looking like it. So yeah, I think the quasi duplicates should probably be search for Escantas. I think that's that's something to change. This this whole time when we've been playing, I haven't I haven't ever thought. And I'd like to play, you know, I wish I had quasi-duplicate. Kind of thing, so I think that's something that I would I would recommend changing. This may just be a red-green. This look like this may just be like a red-green creature deck, maybe. Just hold on to the Plucka Worm. Don't have like the reanimate stuff too much yet, besides Eldest Reborn. Um, but we have, you know, we have like our mana. Okay, yeah, this this is just some kind of creature deck. Hopefully, we don't need ritual sets too much. We got the one in our hand, and that's about it. Van Mayer. Van Mayer. These Elder Borns are looking nice. Alright, good night, RVM. Good luck studying. Repudiate, replicate? Uh, no. Like, I mean, this, this deck just doesn't need the clone effect. I don't think. Like, I, yeah, I just really don't think this deck needs a clone effect. Give me this one. Yeah, these Elster Borns are certainly doing a whole lot of work for us. All right. Good job, Elster Born. We're four and one in this event. Six and four overall now. Our only loss in this event being to like that really bad hand that I kept that I should have mulliganed. Our deck feels pretty powerful. Like these cards that we're playing are very powerful. Like Thought Erasure. All right, hoping to get an untap land where we can start. There we go, perfect. Absolutely perfect draw. So we can start Thought Erasuring right away on turn two. Gonna take this here, Branch Walker. So 
So now should I take Find Finality or Karn? I suppose I should take Karn. So I can connive a Wild Growth Walker next turn. do that. Yeah, is that worth it? Hmm. Nah, I'll just thought Razor. So am I just going to go with the um the blind concoct next turn. What do y'all think about the blind concoct? You know, it's surveil three, then return a creature. We don't have any creatures to return right now. It's either that or I can just connive and just take one of these wild growth walkers. Hmm. How many total creatures do we have in here? We have nine, and two are in our hands. So there's seven out of 47. Do you lose if you whiff? No. Yeah, why not? Let's have some fun. Good, I think, good calls. This is probably not, it's probably best just to wait or connive, but why not? We get to surveil three at the very least. At the very least, we can set up a draw step for Dream Eater next turn. Is that a whiff? Was that a whiff? Was that bad? <laughs> yeah, we have them all dropped in the deck. Was that good? You think I should? I could discard the four runners to cast. See, the better thing is we just get another four runners. That's just even better. <laughs> I just wanna feel good. A moment of craving is looking pretty good. And give my creature minus two, minus two. Minus two, minus two. You you only need to win one game in the singleton event uh, four times to get the place that addresses. You could just play it and win one game and drop, and then play it again and win one game and so on. If that's like if you just want to get the four addresses as fast as possible. Target this one. Just have to cast that fourth Thought Erasure. Seven and four. 
This deck's pretty sweet. This deck's pretty sweet. Hey, Sandy Poe getting the Twitch Prime sub in here. Today, Storm Count 11. Did I, have I been missing the Storm Count? My, my count was off. Thank you so much, Sandy. Enjoy all the awesome emotes, and we are going to be getting new emotes soon. They are um, finishing up almost one year for Nico. Sub number 12 on the day, and it says we are 99 now. Hey, got a magic getting in that party also. Oh, did I really, DJ? I missed your gift sub? Oh, no. I'm sorry. Sub number 13. Thanks, God of Magic. Alright, now it's at 98. Root Snare, Nexus of Fate, Grow Spiral, Opt Chemistry's Insight. Playing against the Nexus of Fate deck. I think it's I think it's either Opter or Chemistry's Insight. I mean sorry, Gross Spiral or Chemistry's Insight. That I'm taking here. I take the Gross Spiral. Yeah, if so this person was already in the queue before Nexus got banned. So if you're already in the queue, you know, like they they don't just kick you out of the queue. So they were already in in the queue in the event uh, before. Um, let's see. Yeah, so they are Yep, so they're already in the event, so they're finishing out their event. <laughs> what are we playing? We're playing some reanimator. <laughs> Which we are doing really well. We're five and one in this one. So we're doing pretty well with it. Nice. Got to take the Wilderness Reclamation. Very nice. Took that thing really fast. And time to just start the Eldest Reborn chain going. Uh, getting towards that. Um... And race four runners as fast as possible. The good part about getting four runners off of Eldest Reborn also is that when four runners comes into play off Eldest Reborn, we won't spend the mana on it, so then we can quasi duplicate it then. Uh, Noxy donated this one. Yeah. I guess the the wind is super strong outside, so I guess there's a, a chance power goes out at some point. Who knows? Hopefully not. Um, of course. I could just keep up dispersal here. I was thinking about that. So, I think I just have the one, the one four runners in the graveyard, right? Yeah, I only have the one four runners in the graveyard. Let's get rid of both these concocts. That's a good draw. That's a good one. Uh, 
All right, another nexus. Depose, deploy. <laughs> See about taking depose. But decide to take the root snare so that they can't, you know, to try to kill them in two turns. <laughs> hey, Night Owl. Ooh, they are a Bant deck. Okay, they're not just. Blue green. They discarded this glacial fortress. It looked like they were just blue green before. Nothing but blues and Elvis. Somebody else's favorite song. Forerunners. Yeah, Unward Ego is certainly, a, I think it's a fine sideboard card um, these days. I, I like it more in this format than I have basically ever. Um, I'm, I'm higher on Unward Ego right now than I've basically ever been. It's not. It's still not necessarily like my... Uh, favorite sideboard card, but yeah, I, I, I think it's certainly reasonable to have in your deck. Um, I liked having it in the, the Grixis discard sideboard that we played yesterday because Grixis doesn't have answers to enchantments um, and being able to unmoored Ego away like the Wilderness Reclamations. Uh, for example, is pretty nice. All right, so we'll have lethal next turn. So Muldrotha can't do anything except for put a land into play. Ooh, eldest report. Okay. Right, eldest. No! Uh, that's bad for us. That's really bad. Just hoping they could not find one of those. Um, kind of the non-functional thing. We lost a we lost a mono red and. <laughs> Esper mid range. A deck didn't feel too good. Um, with Mardu Glass. Um, yeah, there's just. Uh, mana base was like a, a, a big trouble. Um, I think that Mardu Glass, I think that deck is, I think that's the kind of deck that's actually just, it's honestly just a whole lot better in best of one because, um, because of how best of one, uh, gives you the two hands and takes the better of the two hands. You're just going to have, um, a better mana base and a better curve a lot of the time. And so you get to curve out a lot more. And so curving out is a lot more important, uh, in the in the best of one format. And with best of three, you stumble a lot more. And 
it's not a good deck to stumble with with being no removal and not even a very powerful top end and everything. It cur it's really good when you're curving with the deck. Going good, Matthew. We are currently playing best of one right now. Um, our opponent is playing Nexus of Fate because th they must have already been in the event before... Uh, they must have already started the event before the banning happened, and so they are able to uh, play the deck. Did they find a fog? They sure did. Ah, uh, QQ image with... Uh, the uh, Twitch Prime sub. Thanks, QQ. Yeah, Nexus is banned in best of one. And then it says QQ image subbing again. Getting the, the double sub notification. I'm not sure. I'm not sure why that it had the double notification there. So that should just be 14 then. Do I just concede now? Yeah. That'll do it. I'm getting to activate Escanta all those times, every turn. I'm not taking another turn. Yep, they got combo set up. Seven and five. So we've we've only lost to mono red and band deck. Um, and there's one time I kept a really bad hand I shouldn't have that was just an awful hand. So that one doesn't really count. Well, I mean, it does does count, but... Blue-white. Likely a control deck. Yep, it's looking like a control deck. Hey, you're trying to download to get to um, get to play some. I don't think Ritual of Soot's going to do anything, so I'm actually going to discard that instead of End Race Forerunners. Esper. That's a lot of Teferis. Um, I think I just start attacking these Teferis. T 
Do I have five mana? I don't. Let's get rid of this. There we go. Fifth land is what I wanted. I want to be able to slam an Elisir Born. Well, so much for our Elisir Born plan. Whoa. Hmm. So I know they can use like their Teferi to retuck Teferi. Uh, they, they may just tuck the Elvish Born. Trust me, you'll thank me later. You need to slow down. Uh, ritual set, we don't want to draw you. Yep, you got, got to swap the one of Nexus in your storm deck for something. Yeah, just find anything else, I guess. Let's skip to the good part. Can't play the... Can't play the, um... The Nexus, though. Alright, this one looks Keep up the pace. pretty out of hand for us now. I mean, maybe I shouldn't have just been attacking the Teferis. If I... I mean, if I take, like, Sinister Sabotage and Thought Erasure... They just get to their five mana and start playing to fairies, and I'm like, what am I really doing? Our only real hope here is to draw one of our, you know, we have four Eldest Reborns, so we can draw another Eldest Reborn. Here, we gotta do it, you know, like, now. So, so one of our losses was to Nexus of Fate, which is banned. One of our losses was me keeping a really bad hand. And then that loss, I don't know, our opponent just had three Teferis. We could take out two Teferis, but couldn't, ta couldn't take out the third one. But this deck was fun to play. I liked this deck. Um, one thing I would, I would certainly do is I would just get Quasi Duplicate out. That, that card's just not necessary. And I, I think that Search for Escanta um, could be a good card for the deck. Um, it's good, certainly good against the control decks, how you can tr try to look for more Eldest Reborns or Thought Erasures and, and stuff to do. Um, I think that's just a, a much better card for the deck than Quasi Duplicate would be. Um, I think that's a, a pretty easy upgrade there. Um, besides that, it looks pretty sweet. Uh, Muldratha, I'm also not sold on. I'm not sold on Muldratha. Unfortunately, Concoct only brings back a creature. But it, honestly, it seems like... Um, I don't know, maybe even a third end race, Forerunners, would kind of be nice. I feel like you could also just play like a Vraska instead. It seemed like we, we were getting to enough mana. You know, like six mana was not very difficult to get to. Um, you know, if we could find, like, Ritual of Soot and stuff. Honestly, in instead of Muldratha, I think I'd probably just play Avraska. And, um, third, third chapter of Aldous Reborn, uh, gets you Vraska back. 
or you could just hard cast Frasca. Um, you know, you're not going to be able to concoct it, but I think that that's just something that, you know, you can destroy uh, enchantments and things like that. Um, I think the Vraska is probably just a better card there than Muldratha. So there we go. So, Reanimator. So. There we go. If you're watching this later on on YouTube, first Hawkeye say thank you. I assume that's that was Hawkeye saying thank you. Um, yeah, thanks for watching. Uh, don't don't forget to hit that subscribe button, of course, and I'll see you for the next video.